in. So, um, kind of an unusual hero to pick. Uh, he can carry very strong if he gets that farm, but he's definitely going to rely on uh, some support uh, stacking the the creeps for him. Which you know, as we saw from the last game, Sally sells she sells by the she saw is a it's a pretty strong uh, teamwork team. So I, I'm, you know, if if all it takes is to stack some creeps, uh, I think Sookblade will have a pretty good game. So one of uh, Shakatisa's better better characters here being picked. Um, kind of a lack of, st actually, definite lack of stuns on Hellborn team right now. Plenty of slow, plenty of, of dot damage. He's got good burst from that hag. Uh, you know, good slow from from this uh, slow there. But I still like to see stuns over slows. They just seem to be more reliable. Um, Legion's team, I like it so far. It's, it's pretty strong. I can see Zephyr ulting and Bubbles just, you know, coming and holding people down. Yeah, the, Temp now the Glacius ultimate. Tempest and Jerzy are both in the pool right now for the locks. They can. Oh, see, they could have picked up both Tempest and Jerzy there. I think that would have been a better way to go. Um, yeah, so I guess what they're what Hellborn's gonna bank on is you're gonna have three somewhat carries. You know, you're gonna have the Swift Blade side lane farming. You're gonna have probably Hag middle. Uh, you know, she's gonna do her best to snowball, and then you're gonna have this Emerald Warden as well. And you, they're just gonna go with whatever whatever hero begins to snowball the most will start to get supported. That's, uh, that's what this is another. You know, as much as I love Moraxis, I'm really kind of sad that I didn't see a Tempest in there. Considering how the Hellborn team has approximately zero stuns, they just have the one silence from uh, Emerald Warden, I think a Tempest would have been a really strong pick, especially synergizing with uh, a Zephyr Ultimate. Um, considering how there's almost zero counters to Tempest Ultimate, I... Uh, I think the Tempest would have been the best pick to uh, round out the Legion team. I think the reason they might have avoided it was so Zephyr can really have full reign of the jungle and uh, not be hampered by uh, by Tempest also wanting a share of that. Yeah. Aside from that, until until Tempest really gets his portal key, uh, Emerald Warden can, you know, depending on the caliber of player that, that the person playing him is, could just stay out of the fight and wait for that silence. And as soon as he comes into to ult, he gets silenced and Tempest ult gets completely soiled, so maybe they, maybe that's why they went with the Miraxis as well, as well as what you said. Same picks, we screwed up swaps. Okay. So remake gonna gonna happen here. Uh, Legion team not not happy with who they have on on their player characters. So. All right, I'll go create it. I would have been like not too bad because. That's how competitive I get. <laughs> no, like, yeah, you're, you're screwed. We're just going to make this an all pick so we can get through this real quick. Um, I'm hosting it right now. Let me invite you in. It's not, uh, it's not private, so... Yeah, I'm just hoping everyone will just mass join. We're talking is Air My Gird or what it's called. Air My Gird. We're just talking right now. Please up the volume of your mic. Uh, is that me or Macro Hard that you're talking about? So I've got quite a few songs from Two Steps from Hell which are pretty epic sounding songs and they just make the Han experience that much more enjoyable. Although I don't recommend listening to music extremely loud while you're playing because then you can't communicate with your team and they'll rage at you. <laughs> No stats? Was it stats before? I yeah, probably. But I'm not going to worry about it. I want to get this going. I don't think I don't think the other uh, game was stats. Yeah. So does it really matter? Uh, I just want to make sure. Every 
I'm just making sure everyone knows who they're picking. Right? Oh, it was stats. Yeah, I'm... You know, I don't, I don't care. They're getting... They're getting all the glory. The stats is just coincidental. Right. I'm just going to look through to make sure the team's nothing... I don't see any heroes that suddenly prop up. Come, come, come on. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I got a Pebbles. What now? Yeah. Actually, I think if any team tries to do that, that should be automatic. DQ. Peace. Banned from all future tournaments. <laughs> Ready fast, people. So I guess Vordor was supposed to be on the... Zephyr. I'd like to see Zephyr go middle. It's really hard to take down, though. You have to play it really well. I've, and I think if, if Hag goes middle, it would be Hag versus Zephyr, obviously. That would be yeah. pretty interesting. In which case, ne neither of them are going to die. It's just going to be a fight for well, last hits. Well, yeah, well... Zephyr can outlast hit Hag pretty easily enough, especially with the hatchet. Um, so it would, it would have to be Hag would have to be very aggressive and at the same time uh, being very careful not to be caught by this by the Zephyr, and hopefully try to net a kill or just box him out of the lane so hard that he, he's afraid to come in and farm. Yep. I unfortunately fed a Zephyr, like last week, on hand. Oh, I, f I feed Zephyrs every day. Yeah, it, it's just, I don't know, usually it, it's weird. I can go side lane hack, 3v1, 2v1, and I'll do, like, you know, I'll do very well. And I go mid and just completely soil it every time. <laughs> and it's not it's not that I'm a bad mid, it's just on hack. I just can't seem to mid correctly. I always make some stupid mistake. So lane setup is Dampier, oh, are we going to see, yeah, we're seeing a tri lane top, it's going to be Glacius with more axes and Dampier top, uh, Bubble's going to solo That's... bottom, so, I wonder if they're going to try to give Dampier the farm or Moraxis the farm on that one, oh, I'm, I'm a I want to, well, I was thinking it might Normally I would say yes, Dampier, but maybe they're trying to give Maraxis a quick portal key. Well, we'll take a look at their their starting items. Maraxis has a ward, you know, That's and true. a little shield, That's and Dampier's got an axe, so he's definitely looking for last hits here. Um, yep, good, it looks good like observation. Hellborn heroes, are they going to dual lane mid? It's going to be a 2-2-1 two, two, for the Hellborn. Oh, uh, the 3-1 though on top. Yeah, so it looks like they anticipated the Zephyr going middle. And pretty much what you see even in comp scenes, or what you used to see, I don't know if he even gets picked anymore. But whenever Zephyr would get picked middle, they would like dual lane him, you know, really, really gank him a lot to stop him from snowballing hard. Because he's just, he's really hard to, to hold down when you mid against him. So you're gonna I'm glad see we're seeing some so tryhards here. Yeah. This is this Poor Hag, though, against game. three. Well, she is Hag. You know, if he's he is, he is an 1800 player, he will be able to hold his own. I'm pretty confident in that. And being that he is in the short lane solo, he's not really going to be able to get boxed out too hard. At least I'm hoping he doesn't let that happen. And he's still going to get XP even if he doesn't really get farm, which is really what you want to do in a solo lane. You know, especially 3v1, you just want experience. You can hit that level 4 or 5 while the 3 heroes are level 2 because they can't really box you out. Seamorax is about to go ward. I wonder if he's going to try to help out his... Yeah, that's probably what's going to yeah. happen. Like, the, it, that top lane would lose that tri lane, so best choice is to send Moraxis middle and help out uh, Zephyr. And that's that's probably what you're gonna see here. Uh, the only thing is that it is still a double melee lane against the Slither Slither Swift. Yes, <laughs> oh. I was just gonna point out that's. Yeah. Oh wow! Comes it looks like so. Four here is middle right now. Um, the Hellborn doesn't know what's going on, and I don't think Legion knows what's going on. Yeah, I think if <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the, what the hell they're trying to do, but 
they should have. Okay, that's what's happening. Zephyr's gonna go top solo. They're gonna try lane middle against this 